In this video, we're going to learn about the swap function built into the C++ standard library. So very often when programming, we want to swap two variables or two arrays or two objects. And we can do that with the swap function built into the C++ standard library. So for example, let's say we have two int variables, a and b, with a set to two and b set to seven. We'd like to swap these variables by just calling a function, swap a, B. And we can do this with the built-in swap function. All we have to do is include the utility library. And that's it. This swap function will swap the values of A and B. We can output A and B before and after just to make sure. So we'll say C out A colon and we'll output A. And then we'll also output B followed by an inline. And then we'll do the same thing after calling the swap function. And if we save and run our program here, we get that before the swap, a is two and b is seven. And after the swap, a is seven and b is two. And it's just kind of neat that in C++, we're given this inbuilt swap function that we can use. In some languages, we have to create our own swap function, but in C++, we're just given one that will work with primitive types like ints but also things like arrays or objects. So let's go over an example of using the swap function with two arrays. We'll make an array x that's gonna store the int values one, two, three, and an array y that's going to store the int values four, five, six. Then we'll call swap with x and y. And we'll output x and y before and after the swap. So here we'll say c out x open bracket close bracket colon and we'll output x0 followed by a comma followed by x1 followed by a comma followed by x2 followed by an end line then we'll do the same thing with y so we'll copy and paste this here we'll try y now here and then we'll copy and paste these two statements and we'll put it after the swap so we can see the before and after so we'll copy this, paste it here. And if we save and run our program, we get that before the swap, x is one, two, three, y is four, five, six. After the swap, x is four, five, six, and y is one, two, three. And the swap function will also work with things like object instances. Let's make a very simple class. We'll make a class called data. And our data object instances are gonna have a single public instance variable called value that's going to be an int value. Then we'll make two data objects. We'll say data, data x, and data y. We'll set data x's value member variable to two. We'll set data y's value member variable to seven. Then we'll output the value member variable of both of these object instances before and after the swap. So we'll say C out X colon, and we'll output D to X dot value, and then Y colon, and then we'll output D to Y dot value, followed by an inline. Then we'll call swap with the object instances, D to X and D to Y. Then we'll output the value member variable of both object instances after the swap. So if we save and run our program here, we're gonna find that d to x's value before the swap was two, and d to y's value before the swap was seven, and then after the swap, d to x's value is seven, and d to y's value is two. So that's again how we can use the swap function, this time with object instances. And so if we need to swap things in our C++ program, this inbuilt swap function can make our lives easier. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.